So I'm going to tell you about this cool project that I just did. Um, so as I'm sure you may have heard in the paramotor world that the number one cause of death is actually drowning. Um, so in light of this, I have never foot dragged water and I don't really even get close to it. The guys I fly with foot drag water all the time. The depth of the water they're foot dragging are usually like ponds out in farmlands and things like that. So they're probably not that deep, but I just don't know. Cause if they're over five feet and I go in with my current harness, I don't think I could get out of it. You know, I know a lot of people think they could do it, but I've seen those videos of those guys struggling in the pool trying to get out and I don't want any part of that. So I said to myself, if I foot drag over water, I've got to have a quick release harness. So I looked into the quick release and you know, there's, there's a certain paramotor out there that, that has that. I really didn't want to buy a whole new paramotor cause I'm really happy with what I have. I have a, a Nitro 200 made by Air Conception that has a really great SUP Air harness. I mean, it's, it's, other than not being quick release, I love everything about it. There's no complaints there. Um, so I saw Andrew Fuller, uh, who has the SkyTap Angel. Um, I saw that he has several versions of harnesses that are quick release. Contacted him. He was super nice about it. Got back with me. Uh, and next thing you know, I had ordered a Dudek um, Power Comfort uh, Quick Release Harness designed to go with the uh, swing arms uh, on the Air Conception. Um... So I ordered that, and this video is about to transfer that onto, um, onto my paramotor. It was a pretty simple procedure, um, but overall, there, um, there's a lot of things I'm happy about. Getting in and out of the seat while you're flying is really easier than the SUP Air, and I didn't realize how easy it could be. I mean, coming out of your harness and going back in is just like boom, boom. Um, so that's really awesome. Um, watch the video close. There's, there are some pitfalls possible here. If you don't hook in properly, you can find yourself flying without leg straps. Ask me how I know. Uh, hanging by your swing arms while you're <laughs> trying to land can can be a little bit challenging. It's not recommended procedure. Don't do what I did. Learn from this video. Uh, hey, Andrew Fuller, thank you for making this product available. I love it. Super happy with it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, just want to say a few words about the um, Dudek Power Seat Comfort Low Size Large that I've uh, installed on my Air Conception Nitro 200. <clears throat> the installation was pretty straightforward. Um, the biggest issue is the pouch that goes with the SUP Air harness on the Air Conception is not transferable to the Dudek uh, harness, so I had to get a, a Dudek pouch and transfer the inside, which is inside of its own little bag. So the transfer really wasn't difficult. Uh, and then of course, rerunning re the lines and attaching buckles. You had to add the buckles. Okay. The other thing was 
attaching to the the uh, the swing arms here, I had to get these loops. They come from Dudek. Uh, installation is not difficult. There is a manual online for the power seat comfort. It actually is listed as power seat comfort light manual that shows you how to uh, install this, but it's not difficult at all. But without it, I couldn't have done it. Um, so what else about the harness? Uh, installation, your main straps are here, and then you have two lower. One of them comes off uh, right here and goes down, and I just have it mounted loosely at this point. This is actually the strap that gives you your play here. So it has to be pretty loose so you can get in and out of your harness. Um, and that's probably the thing I liked better about the Air Conception. It was a little better about this little, this amount of movement here and snugging it up and down. But really no complaints. I mean, it works fine. And then the last one is the lower, which it's hard to see, but there's a, a strap right here and it's around my main frame right there. And those are on each side. Okay, so what else is different? Um, the depth, as I mentioned, the depth this way, from a practical standpoint, is about an inch to an inch and a half longer. Uh, so I, I fit in the seat uh, quite a bit better. Uh, there's two ways, uh, two adjustments on the seat angle and the, the one most are familiar with is is this one here which brings up this part of the seat but if you just bring that up you can pinch your legs a bit you want to bring up the bottom too like that and the way you bring up the bottom is this strap right here pulling it down okay so i like it i like I like my seat to ride me like this, not with my legs hanging out, but like that, cocooned. Uh, and this harness does a fantastic job of that. All right, um, I think it's a little bit heavier um, than this up there. It's got a little thicker padding, but you can definitely feel in the back of it. It didn't change my hang point spots. I'm in the same spot. I expected to have to move these forward just a little bit because of the cushion in the back but you know it, it I didn't have to the hang point is is fine um, now lastly I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up I'm gonna show you how this is done uh, in this without me in it and then with me in it and it turns out to be pretty important much closer to uh, the bend of my knee it's within within an inch so it's it fits better than the uh, sub air harness with regard to that now I like my legs being like this let's see what it feels like if I put a little more on it now that adjuster is here. Oh, that just snugged me in. Okay. Yeah, man, that feels good. I like it. 
If I go on speed bar, my feet don't drop like they did with the other harness. I like it. Does just what it says, quick release. Um, come zoom in on these straps. So these straps need some adjustment. When I first got it, I didn't adjust it. I flew with it. It was probably another couple inch longer. It was a lot harder getting the seat. Now I've got it adjusted, it's great. Okay, I'll show you how I get in the harness. Pop in. It's got a, it's got a chest strap right here that I just use for taking off. When I start flying over water, I'll undo that. Now let's get a close up of how this harness actually goes together. So this piece goes through here and then this piece right here goes in like that. Okay. And what I did the, the second flight is I did it just like this and I Velcroed it and I clipped it and I took off and I didn't have any leg, leg straps. And I had video of me clipping in. It's like, how did that happen? It happened because this. It can move in just the right way and boom. So it's still connected here. My leg straps are gone. And so I had to fly around hanging from my swing arms. It wasn't very fun, uh, but it was okay. I landed fine. Um, so let me show you what the trick is and how not to have that happen to you. Okay, so here we go. We hook it in. Get to this part here. All right, swing this through. Now this is the step I didn't do before. Listen, it latches in right there. And that's snug. Once it's lashed in there, it is not gonna come out. All right, so let's do that one more time. Put through here, click it. There's your click, now you Velcro it. There's no way that's coming out, no way. All right, uh, so then, I just get my flight deck in order here. And step up a little bit. You didn't do the other. Step up, back up a little bit. It doesn't, you don't have to. Oh, okay. You can. Okay, so. Now I'm ready to go. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. I'm foot dragging.